So with user interaction events like click and text select, it's not uncommon for the coordinates of the event or the metadata around the event to be uh, reported with viewport relative coordinates, meaning that even as I scroll the browser, the, the location, say, of a click or of a text selection will be relative to the browser's viewport top left, not the document top left. And oftentimes we want to react to those user interaction events by rendering something in a non-viewport relative position, say like somewhere inside an element. And we can use the get bounding client rect method on the element API to translate viewport relative coordinates into element local coordinates. So for example, I have a click handler uh, on the document and it's looking for clicks that originate in one of these boxes. And you can see from the uh, elements panel here that these boxes are just uh, simple divs. And what's going to happen is that when I click in one of the divs, I'm going to take the viewport relative coordinates of the click event and use that to position and inject a div that is going to be a dot inside one of these boxes. So for example, click in A and you can see here down in box A I have this point and this point has a absolute position relative to the box. We can see that all of the boxes have a, a relative position and all of the points have an absolute position. So these points are going to be positioned relative to the box. And just to you know drive home the point that these are inside the box, if I click near the borders you can see that the overflow hidden of the box is hiding uh, portions of the point. So those are clearly contained within the boxes. Um, and uh, you can see here as we click around, uh, I'm translating the viewport location of the click to the element local position of the dot itself. So let's just put one up here. And you can see that we translated viewport 490 to local 13.8. And in fact, if we look at this one, what we should see is that the left here is 13 and the top is 8. So let's take a look at how this works in the code. So again, we have uh, our click handler here on the document. So I'm using event delegation. And I'm looking at the target to see if it contains box, class, and if it doesn't, I just bail out. So if it originates within box, you want to move forward. Um, in this case, I'm taking the client X and the client Y coordinates of the mouse event to get the mouse event relative to the viewport. Um, as a side note, the mouse event has a bunch of different types of coordinates. Uh, the point here is not the mouse click. There's other events that have viewport relative positioning. I'm just using the mouse to drive the demo. So forget about worrying about those coordinates. But the point is that we get the viewport X and the viewport Y at the click. We're then going to use the bounding client rectangle of the target box within which the click originated. And that's going to give us the top and left uh, position of the box relative to the viewport. So now we have two viewport coordinates, one of the click, one of the box, and we can now determine the element local position by taking the delta of these two coordinates. So we're going to take the viewport x and subtract the, the rectangle, the box rectangle left, and similarly the viewport y and subtract the box rectangle top. And that's going to give us, again, the delta of the two viewport relative coordinate systems, giving us the, uh, the, the difference, which is the local coordinates of the click within the originating box. And then in this case, I'm taking into account the border width because the uh, bounding client rect is, uh, takes into account the outermost portions of the box, which include the border. But when we position the dot, we want it to be inside the border. So I'm subtracting the border width from that delta. And then you can see I'm just creating a div element, positioning it based on that delta, that local x and local y, and I'm injecting it into the point. And then of course, just console logging the difference here. So again, we're taking the viewport or uh, the viewport coordinates of the click event, 571.144, and then we're taking the bounding box of the target element, and we're using the delta to create or to calculate the local coordinates of the dot contained within the box. As so you can see, the left goes from 571 to 309, and the top goes from 144 to 124. So um, ultimately, uh, this may not be something you have to do a lot, but the uh, get bounding client rectangle method is 
uh, a pretty powerful tool. It has really standardized support going back to IE9 and, uh, and can make some of this stuff fairly trivial. So pretty exciting, I think.